Weather and life both change quickly. Do you have a farm estate plan? You need to learn the best option to help your family avoid or minimize federal estate taxes and other costs. I'm Brad Swenson, President of Swenson Investments and Commodities. We work confidentially with farmers, ranchers, and advisors to help develop the best farm estate plan. During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about on-farm comparisons. So, Darren, what are, what are we talking about there? <laughs> well, we know a little bit about that, Brian. You know, uh, on our farm, we're comparing things in pretty much every field that we've got, whether it's a hybrid comparison or herbicide comparison. For farmers, you know, we hear about stuff that, well, this new way of doing things is better. Well, how do you know that unless you try it out on your own farm and see for yourself? Well, one of the most important things that we're always talking to people about is we don't really care if you believe one word we're telling you on Ag PhD. More than anything, we're just trying to motivate you so you try some new things out on your own farm. That's how we end up doing a lot of things on a lot of acres on our own farm is we try them on small plots then we try them on bigger plots and eventually we're doing them on the whole farm. What I like is I get this question a lot, does everything that you try work? <laughs> Absolutely not, are you kidding me? I mean there's all kinds of things that we tried that fail. Everybody's going to make mistakes and try things that don't work. You just won't want to, don't want to try them on the whole farm so you have this big financial disaster. By trying things out just on a small, small basis, maybe you try a strip or two in a field and you say, wow, that didn't work. Well, it's no big deal if you do it on two acres, but if you do it on you know, a thousand acres, wow, all of a sudden that's going to hurt. We've tried a lot of different products that haven't worked, certain varieties of soybeans or varieties of corn. Uh, certain foliar fertilizers I can think of off the top of my head, they just didn't pan out for us. We've done some things in furrow, we've done some things pre-emerge, some things post-emerge. I mean, there's just a, an enormous list. But the, the reason why we want to try different things out all the time is because one out of three or one out of five ends up being really good and it makes us more money, it makes us more yield, and it makes a farm more profitable. It really comes down to getting out in your fields and actually watching things. And you say, well, I don't know if I have time for that. And I said, what are you talking about? How do you not have time to get out in your fields? That's what your job is. And when you're out in your fields, you say, well, you know, if I would have done just a little better job at this, or man, my plants are really short, what can I do to influence them to get bigger? And also don't just look above ground, look below ground as well. Maybe you're digging up your soybeans right now and saying, wait a minute, I, I just didn't have hardly any nodules out there on my beans. What's going on with this particular field? Well, that's where you start thinking about what you can try. And maybe you try a different inoculant, or maybe you add some quick roots to your inoculant, or maybe you add some other product in there to try and influence your plant to have more nodulation. That's where I like to start. Talk to other people out there. Don't just try and make all these decisions up yourself. Talk to your neighbors, talk to your friends, talk to people at universities or in the industry or with your seed companies. You have so many resources out there, you just have to talk to them to find out what they know because chances are they probably know a few things that you don't know already and that may help you make more money. Yeah, but the whole reason why we want farmers to try different things themselves on their own farms is Every farmer has slightly different grounds, slightly different conditions. He manages a farm a little bit differently. So even though it may work for some other, a certain thing may work for some other people, it might not for you or vice versa. So again, we just encourage all farmers everywhere to be trying at least a few new things every year. Split the planter, split fields, however you do it, but run some on-farm trials yourself then you can end up with the most yield and profitability somewhere down the road. And make sure you get the data off those fields this fall so you have some numbers that you can put towards this for next year because, for example, if you have a problem like our Weed of the Week, this one may not be easy to tackle. You may want to have some different ideas going forward. Can you identify this week's Weed of the Week? 